the protracted pandemic crisis has placed a microscope on the healthcare sector, impelling St. Lucia to take a closer examination at not only the cracks in the veneer, but the chronic gaping holes. Prime Minister Alan Chastney, in a recent appearance on The Morning Heat, stressed the importance of a national health insurance scheme to alleviate not just the financial burden on hapless patients, but aid in the maintenance of medical institutions. And that's why it's so important to get this, in, this insurance uh, program in place, because the money to pay for the maintenance and the operations of the hospitals comes from the insurance. Government has agreed we will pay all the salaries of all the persons working in the hospitals. We will pay for all utility bills and we will pay for the capital costs. All we want the insurance to do is to cover your visits to the doctors and any materials that you use that those things can be replaced. The idea of a national health insurance plan sounds good on paper, but according to General Secretary Claude Paul of the Civil Service Association, the bargaining agent for public servants, there are many unanswered questions on the policy and regulatory framework. The proposal was short on a lot of details which we have requested um, from the ministry before we can um, really determine whether it's a good or bad thing. There's, for example, there's no information on how national health will be funded. That discussion it was not in the proposal. Um, whether it will be um, a contribution from, from workers or whether it will be from the, the, the consolidated fund or, or elsewhere, I don't know. Moreover, Paul also wants answers on the fate of those who already have private insurance policies. He argues that the intricate details, including how the government plans to pay for national health insurance, have not been thrashed out publicly. We're still not sure about the relationship between private insurance and the national health insurance. Again, that information is sketchy. Um, there's no definitive position. Our understanding is that these matters are being discussed and that when a, a position is, is determined or some options are determined, we will be advised. So it's a continuing discussion, or I would say it has started, and I, I cannot say it is at the point where we are actually having detailed discussion because the details are absent from the proposal that was presented to us. The CSA General Secretary says the union awaits greater insight on the plan from the authorities. St. Lucians, for years, have been clamoring for relief to foot the cost of medical bills. However, despite policy prescriptions, including a gander at universal health care in the mid-2000s, a system of insurance to help ordinary St. Lucians take care of health care needs has been elusive. Sula Jalford, HDS News Force.